This video covers the IGCSE Biology Objective 3.2.8 on the 2025 CAIE syllabus to explain the effects on plant cells of immersing them in solutions of different concentrations. So in a previous video, you saw the experiment where we took the potato pieces and put them into different concentrations, and we used that to come up with a graph to find the concentration of sugar in the potato. But we didn't really talk about the terminology of the potatoes in the zero sugar solution versus in the five gram sugar solution. So now we're going to learn what those terms are. So the first term we have is flaccid. And I did use the terms in the video, but I didn't really explain them. So a flaccid cell or a flaccid plant structure is when the plant cells have been placed in a solution that is more concentrated than it. So if you recall, the potato was placed into a five gram sugar solution in 100 milliliters of water that was very concentrated and it was more concentrated than the actual sugar in the potato. So as a result of this, due to water potential gradient, the water is going to move out of the potato or out of the plant cells into the beaker or into the outside solution. So we end up with a cell that is flaccid and that means the plant cells have become soft and less rigid than normal because the cytoplasm has shrunk just a little bit as seen in this particular illustration. Okay, now one of the things that can be, go beyond flaccid is something called plasmolysis. So this is when the plant cell or the plant cells are in a, a solution that is extremely more concentrated. So that way a high amount of water is going to move out of the cell. And as a result, we have a cell that appears to be quite shriveled. And the cytoplasm and the cell membrane of the plant actually pulls away from the cell wall. This can mean cell death because that is not supposed to happen in a plant cell. So we say that the, the cell has undergone plasmolysis. Okay, the third type of thing that can happen is when the cells become turgid, and you have heard this term before in the last video. So turgid is when the plant cell is in a solution that is less concentrated than it. So if you recall back to the potato plant experiment, that the potatoes that were placed in the zero sugar beaker, so it was in pure water, became turgid. They became very hard and very full of water. So that is because the concentration was zero compared to the concentration of the potato. So the, the concentration in the beaker was zero compared to the concentration in the potato, which I think was around 3.5 grams of sugar. So therefore, the water potential gradient is going to move from the beaker into the potato. And so we end up with a cell that is turgid. So a turgid cell becomes hard and rigid because the cytoplasm and the vacuole, which are very full of water, are pushing against the cell wall. And I did mention this in the last video. So just as a reminder, as a result of this, we end up with something called turgor pressure. Turgor pressure is when all of the cells in the plant are filled up with water, and so the cell vacuole and the cytoplasm is causing water pressure to push on the cell wall, which is inelastic, and so therefore the entire plant then is going to be supported by the turgor pressure of the collective cells together, so the plant will stand up straight that enables it to do photosynthesis because it can then have access, its leaves can have access to sunlight compared to the wilted plant where the leaves are drooping. 